There it goes. You might like it from back the back, so it's got the branding on. So what makes this phone different from the other rugged phones out there on the market? So, um, combination of design and durability, um, you can drop it from six foot without it breaking. Okay. You can submerge it in up to three foot of water for half an hour. Um, it's scratch and dust resistant. Um, you can use it with wet fingers, latest Android capabilities. Grab it because it's surprisingly light as well. So yeah, it kind of looks it's heavy very light. Yeah, it's when, when you when you just see that. It's kind of surprising because most rugged phones are a lot have a more heft to it, but this one feels very light. It feels lighter than an iPhone with a big chunky case around it. Yeah. And uh, here you have the, the port for USB, exposed bolts along the sides. I can help you. You have volume up and down buttons on the right hand side. How do you uh, power it on? Oh, whoa. Is that a delivery test? No, that was not. It was very much accidental. So let me just put this back yeah. in. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Now, that was not an intentional drop, but at the same time, you can see that this device can survive a drop from a high space. Uh, that drop was from about six feet, and it came through with no problems at all. Now, of course, this is a durable phone, so you would expect that. It has hard plastic rims, the silver-looking part that you see on the side. It also has uh, very hard rubber uh, on the black portions that make it seem like uh, it has shock absorption. And the little lash that you see there when it's yellow that means that it's open and when you don't see the yellow that means it's fully locked so when you drop the phone as I did the battery won't come popping out aside from that you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the top and of course it's covered because this is a waterproof device it has IP67 rating so you can go underwater up to 3.2 feet for 30 minutes as far as the software goes you see it looks kind of like stock Android uh, that's because it's running a fairly basic version of Android 4.1 2. Not major changes, just some changes for the notification tab, as well as some changes that they made uh, to add some shortcuts. But for the most part, it's going to be Android as intended. Other things about the phone, it has a dual core 1 gigahertz processor. It has 4 gigabytes of storage and 1 gigabyte of RAM. Uh, using the phone, it felt okay. You know, we were in a convention hall, so you're going to get spotty Wi-Fi to begin with. But overall, the phone seemed to be fine uh, for what it is. It's a mid-range device and a durable device, so it's designed to take a beating and it's designed to give you a basic uh, Android experience, and it delivers on that promise. The Cat B15 also has a cool feature because it has a 4-inch multi-touch screen, WVGA, Gorilla Glass, and it has something called wet finger tracking. So you see I put my hands in water, and even though my fingers are wet, it has water dripping down them, I can still use and operate the phone. Now, this is something that you don't see typically because usually when your hands are wet and you touch a screen, the sensors go crazy and you don't get any response. You don't have that problem on the B15. Because the 4-inch screen is able to survive and be operated even when your fingers are wet. Now, just to wrap this up, it has a VGA front-facing camera for video chat and a 5-megapixel rear camera for when you want to take pictures. Uh, as far as networks go, they haven't narrowed down a network in the U.S., uh, but it is GSM compliant. And on the plus side, they're selling it unlocked already for $399 in North America. Uh, it works on AT&T or T-Mobile. Uh, they were using a T-Mobile SIM. There's no LTE support at the moment, but they will do that in case they get an official deal with a carrier. But anyway, this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com taking a look at the Cat B15. Thanks for watching.